Welcome everyone to Stardew Valley's multiplayer beta. Not sure how much of this is going to be changed for when it comes out of beta, but in the meantime we wanted to show this off. Joining me for this, back from the LP, is Irish Rodent. Hello ladies and gents. We are also joined by Mugiwara Yoshi. Hello, hello everybody. And new to the channel, but been a friend of it for a while now, Dakota. Hi! So if you yourself want to take part in the multiplayer beta, you just have to go to the properties, at least from where we did it in Steam, and to opt into the beta, you have to put in the password Jumping Junimos, but then you can take part. So in order to begin a co-op game, you either need to join someone who already has started theirs, either through an invite code or on, if it's over Steam, they can invite you directly. Or you can host your own farm, make your own characters. You can have up to three additional people on your farm, as we're going to see. Yoshi, he went ahead and started a farm that he, Dakota, and I played. We played all the way through spring in one night. <laughs> It was really fun. And we're going to pick up from there. Okay, it's active. Should be ready to go. Okay. It is active for me. Um, Irish, you have not joined in yet, correct? That is correct. Yoshi, are you able to get an invite code? Yes, I am. Let's see, because uh, the invite codes are going to be under multiplayer in the options tab and it has two options invite friend or show invite code honestly i recommend doing it through steam friends it's way easier because you just had to invite friend sends the invite and they just hop on it but uh if they don't if you don't have them added on steam then the code is another thing you can do you say it's a secret but i'm recording my video so you know it's a secret in post now, originally, Yoshi's farm only had space for Dakota and myself, um, but you are able to go to Robin and build another cabin. How much did that cost? That cost 100 gold. And no other materials? Um, I think stone, since uh, her house is specifically a stone one. Uh, I, I believe it was just like, I want to say like 10 pieces of stone. I really don't remember it being cost-effective or, like, you need a crap ton of materials. <laughs> what did you do? No, nothing. It was nothing. I would just, I thought I could write something. Oh, uh, no. So, um, when you initially join, you have to make a character when you start on the farm? That is correct. You can't um, import any characters, at least not yet, if they're ever going to make that a thing. I am actively watching Irish making her character. <laughs> oh yeah, that's another thing. You can actually watch um, uh, somebody make their character in real time. Wait, really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, that's disturbing. You're currently flashing through different eyeball colors. Yeah, I am. Wow, I'm like, how? how did you... How did you... Creepy. Let me see. Now, oh, uh, I know as soon as you start multiplayer, the audio is really loud, or at least it was in previous versions of the beta. They're constantly updating it. It seems to be quiet now. Oh, God, you guys are staring at me. Hi. <laughs> now, you're lucky Dakota didn't come in, because one thing they like to do is this. <laughs> yeah, I know that from firsthand experience. I can't take a break around you guys. <laughs> I'm gonna go get a sandwich. All right, okay. And don't worry, Irish. Even though you can't get into your bed, we rarely use our cabin beds. I see what you're trying to do. We rarely use our own beds. We all just, we all just stuff into the Yoshi's bed in the main house. That's cool. Slumber party! But, wow, look at all this. Now, I have a crap ton of seeds. I think I just took them all from the chest. What do you mean? He's white on my side. He's like the same color as Thrawn. Oh yeah, my character's name is Thrawn Brian, for anyone who remembers my playthrough of uh, Tomodachi Life. Well, that's okay, since 
you know, we had me and Dakota added a mod, so if we look different on someone else's screen, like uh, for example on my screen, you you should be able to see a white haired brown skinned man with yellow eyes, and on and next to him should be uh, a brown skinned lady with purple eyes, but uh, she might be wearing something different on my side, as opposed to on their side. But uh, you you'll be able to tell who's here by the footage, and we'll let you know. Yeah. So I have all these parsnips. I'm gonna play. Oh man! It's really easy to tell who Thor is because he's the only one that looks like a robot. <laughs> yeah. I would be a party animal if I were an animal. Now I'm going to put down all this quality fertilizer, which I took from you guys before you could add any crops so now you couldn't use them. Now what was I going to do today? It's probably the thing I do all the time. What would that be, Yoshi? Fishing. I'll see you guys in the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> You kind of timed that perfectly, because, like, you immediately loaded out of the area. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, yep. Yeah. That tends to happen sometimes, but it's okay. Uh, if a player accidentally drops, so they get, or, you know, they get kicked out accidentally, they could just hop back in. Um, unfortunately, if, say, for example, an, an event is going on, and you happen to drop, you can't go back in until that event is done. So kind of did the same thing that we did in the LP. Set up some chests and color-coded them. Here's the fish. And pickles and jelly. <laughs> oh, and also every farmer shares the same exact amount of money. It's split between us four now. Yes. We do not share energy or friendships with villagers, though. Like me, I'm, I'm practically a hermit. I don't talk or befriend anyone, because why would I do that? But uh, Dakota, on the other hand, definitely talks to everybody. I, uh, I try to get the recipes out of everybody. That's the only reason I try to make friends in this game. <laughs> and me, I just don't think they're worth talking to. Not because I hate them. I actually don't dislike them. It's just this, it's the same way I play Animal Crossing. It's like I could talk to them, but why? Thank you for the two extra wins. <laughs> You're very welcome. So I'm the, on on my screen. I look like I'm like your like sister or something because my game has given me blue skin and blue eyes. <laughs> I I'm just purple. Except my shoes, which is really obnoxious, but I'll have to go to the mine because there are purple shoes. So there's one thing that they haven't fixed yet. Um, you cannot check what you've added to the community center yet. But uh, on the plus side, we went with the mushroom cave for this save. And I did get a purple mushroom. I don't think we had one of those yet. So like, if somebody wants to haul that, I do not have my watering can. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of making friends... So I guess I'm off anyway. I was gonna say if someone wanted to haul that to the community center, but I guess I'm gonna pass by there anyway. So how does this work now that it's already summer? But I'm just starting. Like, do I... Can I just go to Willy and get the fishing pole and go get a sword and all that stuff? Yeah, actually, you go ahead and do that. I'm gonna follow you and see if you pick up something funny. It's just weird, because I'm not sure if it's an event that's, like, designed to trigger on the second of spring type of thing. And Willie might be like, too late, buddy, you didn't get your fishing pole. You better wait till next spring. I know you can buy a bamboo fishing pole. That's true. I don't think they'll ever be like, well, now that you're out of sync with the planet, leave. <laughs> out of sync with the world. Yeah, I mean, I'm down here and Willy isn't triggering a cutscene for me, so. 
It might depend on the time, because we did get down here at 6.30 p.m. That's true. It might have to be before 5 o'clock. Oh, my inventory is full. I hope it isn't every time that I, like, walk into the same green rodent that I just turn blue. <laughs> I have that effect on people. Well, I think it's time to meet our cat. Our cat, Oblong. Which I named, if you couldn't tell. Uh, it, he might look a little different on my end, because I basically have a mod that uh, makes him look uh, like a black tuxedo cat. On my screen, he's gonna look like a shiny key, so... Yeah. Alright, so here's Oblong. <sighs> Had to cut the grass. He's asleep right now, so you can't really get that good of a view. Um, this poor cat, I've unfortunately crushed about three t four times. Uh, <laughs> okay, but that last one wasn't me. But it's okay, Oblong doesn't care about being crushed, like so. Okay, he woke up when I did that, but he's he usually doesn't mind it. I think the best thing was when it happened the first time, and you guys were just shocked. <laughs> It's because I had the club in my right click. Fun fact, I don't have the quest to meet everybody. Ooh. Well, that's pretty cool. That, that means it has no expectations for you. Well, I do have the expectation to grow a parsnip, which I can't do. Did it not appear in a box? It, well, it did, but it's summer. Yeah, I can't. Oh, that's right. Until we get a greenhouse, you can't use greenhouse or next year. If we could set up some tappers, we just need two more for the exotic foraging bundle. Oh, and I can see a care of the summer foraging bundle. Or can I? No, I need a grape. I thought we had a grape. We did, but I didn't bring it. Oh. <laughs> Happens. I see it. Oh yeah, so... About bedtime. Uh, in order for you to progress to the next day, all players have to go in bed. And, uh... For example, like, if we hop in bed, it's gonna say two out of four, because there's four other players, and it's waiting for them. You ideally do have your own bed, but you also can't just pile onto one bed. Which Thorn did a lot. <laughs> Which I just saw Irish rush in your house to do. <laughs> Went in Rome, right? Went in a coma. Now, how does the energy penalty work if some people are in bed in time, but some people are still up at 2 a.m. or go to bed after 1? That's actually a really cool... We think edition, I don't think it was in the game before, but as long as you're lying in bed, you're regenerating energy. Huh. Interesting. Yep, you can regain energy now. I'm gonna... No, nope. I'm gonna... I can't use my tools indoors. Oh, it's because I don't have it selected. <laughs> God damn it, why did I do this? I did this to myself. <laughs> damn you. <laughs> Fine, I'll use my own bed. No! <laughs> Get back in there. <laughs> so I have 262 health. It's like every second that you're laying in bed, maybe half a second, you get energy back. And now I'm topped out. And I still don't have my watering can. I'll be helpful in different ways then. <laughs> I will take this grape. I will pet the cat. How do I already have a bunch of health? Do the star drops give everybody health? An energy, rather? How much do you have? 270? Yeah. It might have just caught you up with everyone. Yeah, because uh, that's what we all have, too. 
But I do know for a fact that if one person gets a starfruit, the other person has to get their own starfruit. Because uh, for a while, me and Dakota were in different numbers. Because we went to the mines. On one of the floors, you get a uh, starfruit. And uh, they were like, yeah, you can have it. I miss having the long bar. <laughs> yeah, you guys play until like two in the morning multiple times. Yes, all the time. Yeah, you should see what our like our uh, what our farm usually looks like. Cause we just have like a whole operation going on with wineries and. But yeah, we play like this game. I highly recommend it for couples because uh, me and Dakota get a lot. Like it's it's not only like really fun to play, but you get to just like if you're long distance, hey, you get to like actually live in a house with your spouse. It's pretty cool. And you can, like, raise a family and do all this other cool stuff. We actually even did, in fact, test getting married, so we actually are. Oh, cool. And it does, in fact, work, and we do, in fact, have two kids on our other farm. Yeah, to get married, you just need, um, five iridium bars <laughs> and a prismatic shard to make the wedding ring. Oh, they don't do the same, uh, mermaid pendant? It's an actual ring. Yeah, you can't wear it, though, which kind of sucks. Yeah, that's the dumb. Aw, oh, it should have, like, a really good ability on it. Like, a protection ability or something like that. Oh, another thing we tested. There is a sort of glitch with the ice cream stand, which I'll be showing later in the LP. This video is going to come out well before I show it. As I mentioned, the vendor characters, they just stand behind the counter, and then that allows the shop to be active. You cannot do that with another player. But there is a way to get ice cream year-round. If a meteor falls on that cat, he'll be he'll shrug it off. He doesn't give a sh- I was taking a nap. <laughs> I wonder what Alex is doing today as I watch him walk around in a circle on the beach. <laughs> He's having a time. Ooh, I got a lobster and a shrimp. You got the achievement again. I wow, you're know. really good. You're really good at this game, honey. Th Thron, Brian, you look puzzled. You can't even see my face. <laughs> you look puzzled, zoom sound effect. <laughs> ah, yes, the fabled glass shards. Hey, Alex. Hit me with some ice cream. Well, leave me alone. Oh, another weird thing. So when you get the upgrade to have a kitchen, you mm -hmm. need to put the ingredients that you want to use to cook in your own cabin. At least the last That's time that I played this. Huh. Not the kitchen that you're yeah, using. Yeah, so like if you're using like the like the main house's kitchen and you try to use yeah, ingredients that are in there. They won't work. You can't craft the food item that you're trying to make. And recently, when I logged back into the other file to cook something, uh, all the items that I had put in my own refrigerator were gone. Yeah. It seems like they're, they're still working on some of the kinks, obviously, since this is a beta, but I'm actually impressed with how quickly they're doing it. They're, like, putting out little patches, like, really small ones. Yeah, they're on point. And, like, for a beta, honestly, to get- to, to do the things that me and Dakota have already done with just the beta, I'm actually highly impressed, because it's mostly done. It's mostly complete. There's still, like, some hiccups every now and then, like, on occasion, you'll probably be- well, it'll probably happen at one point here, but, uh, when, uh, if one of us is fishing and another person goes under the screen, you'll sometimes just randomly see them fishing in a spot that that's not where they normally should be, and you'll just see their fishing rod, their fishing line just extend all across town somehow. Like, that's still a thing that happens every now and then. It doesn't disrupt gameplay, it just looks funny. Events work perfectly fine with more than one farmer character. Like, for example, the uh, flower dance, we were able to participate in that. We just... Like, all I had to do was right-click on Dakota's avatar, and then it's like, oh, it, the prompt comes up and it asks you, oh, sh do you want to dance? And he's, yeah, there you go. And I had to stand around lonely. 
<laughs> you were observing someone from a distance. Yeah, like a stalker. But it's, well, I, I just assumed you were getting their biomatter to, for future plants. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yep, they're human. <laughs> All right, the, the the meteor landed over here, so I actually don't know about this. So, uh, do we do we mine it or? Oh, a me you got a meteor? Yeah. yeah so while you chilling. weren't playing, we got the iridium meteor. Hmm. I broke my hand. <laughs> <laughs> Just imagine like a bunch of wires Ow. and metal hanging out. <laughs> Start spurting and sparking. A predicament. Okay, and we've got some trees down here. I'm going to put a couple tappers on these. I also have some spring seeds if anyone wants to plant those. But it's summer. Summer seeds if anyone wants to plant those. <laughs> <laughs> Look, did you ever just want to watch something die? <laughs> Alright, and these trees will be for tappers later. These trees. That was not even the right melody to the right song. But I still I still knew which you were going. <laughs> yeah. That's what matters. I'm just adding speed grow because I have some. Oh yeah, I got an iron edge. And I bought a cutlass. They're about even in my mind. <laughs> I was gonna go for the cutlass, but I ended up going for the pirate sword instead. Mainly because the stats aren't too different, but if you have the extra money, it's like, yeah, might as well. When uh, we finally got a return scepter. When you use that, all players disappear and appear at home. <laughs> So every time we're about to use it, we just like we just inform like, "Hey, are you home?" Or like, "Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna use the thing," just to make sure they're not interrupting anything or just warp you away from whatever you're doing. We got cloth. <laughs> in the meantime, let's pile in a Yoshi's bed. <laughs> you say it in such a depressed tone. <laughs> I've resolved my life to this. Okay, all right. I'll I guess I'll get in bed with you, Yoshi. But not what the people have wanted this whole time. If you would like to pile onto my bed, please don't. <laughs> I, I, have, I have work. <laughs> and a wife, so... <laughs> <laughs>